Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, and I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Lightfish. Lightfish is a game by Eclipse Games. It came out on the 19th of October this year, and it involves being a fish, as you might imagine. However, being a fish is dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Bear in mind that every single game I play here, I think, aside from maybe one or two, I have not touched in any way, shape, or form. So this is completely blind. Let's check how to play, shall we? Thumbstick all the movement keys. Well, you know what? I don't have that. Is, is this Tron with a fish? Kind of looks like it is, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, it's, um... Oh, I remember what it is. It's a... There's a really old game called Styx. It's kind of like that, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Only with fish. Okay. Starfish enemies. Square reefs. Oh, God, the horror. Crabs. Giant enemy crabs and big jellyfish. All right, let's give it a shot, shall we? See how many levels we have. Quite a lot by the looks of it. Yep, those are the chapters right here. I believe there are, let's see, there's about 45 levels. That's the one, 45 levels. All right, let us start in shallow water, shall we, for Lightfish. Here we go. All right, move the Lightfish using the keys on the thumbstick. Press Control or the A button to create a new line. Enclose a portion to gain it for you. All right, okay. Not a problem. My God. That's not a fish at all. Look at it. It's got a broken back. That's horrible. It needs to go see a chiropractor. All right. Okay. Are these... I assume these small fish are friendly by the looks of it. Yes, they are. All right. Yeah, I know. Ex the, this is a, a really odd game to start with because I remember playing a game just like this when I was very young. And as I say, it was called Sticks. And the whole point was to cover the screen as quickly as you could. This version has power-ups by the looks of it. You have to cover the screen as quickly as you can, and to avoid the enemies. I am getting th achievements just thrown at me right here. It's like, you have achieved 5,000 million things all at once. God, you are wonderful. All right. Can we get all the way over there? Yes, we can. Now, if these hit the line or you while you are drawing, then you die. Or you, you lose a life anyway. It would appear that I have three light fish. Always useful to have spare light fish, I tend to find, when you're doing something along those lines. Alright. Kind of a nice little graphic style to it, a little bit luminescent, but this don't think this is an original game idea. It is not. I played this on the BBC Micro Model B. You want to know how much memory I had on the BBC Micro Model B? 32 kilobytes. Yes, a mighty 32 kilobytes of memory. The Master System, not the Sega Master System, the BBC Master System, had 128 kilobytes of memory. Hardcore stuff, folks. Hardcore. Don't die to the starfish. Advice for life, as far as I'm concerned. Unfortunately, as the level gets smaller and smaller, it gets more and more difficult to actually do anything. Uh, oh god. Ah! Balls. I slew a lightfish. Like, the lightfish committed some kind of suicide. And that makes me feel very, very guilty, honestly. Mm, I do not have the speed to encapsulate this. Uh, nope, we're fine, we're fine. I don't think I'm going to be getting many achievements for this run, I'll tell you that for a fact. Get out of the way. This is mine. I'm marking my territory in the way that only a light fish can. There we go. It's not urinating everywhere. Oh, look at that. Look, It's like, well, you could have got three stars, but you're terrible. Hmm. You cannot go through reefs. All right, then. Useful information to have. Can't shut that. Oh, so very close. That would be terrible. We shall grab us. Oh no, never mind. You have to actually grab the star. There we go. All right, cool. That slowed all the enemies down. That's wonderful. There's be large amounts of time to not screw up. Yoink! There we go. I remember how to play this game now. This is very much a nostalgia trip back to my childhood. Alright. More of these starfish must be slain for the glory of Lightfish Empire. Sort of weird, odd techno music going in the background here. The soundtrack is interesting. Alright. Seal that area. Off, go away. This reef is making things tricky. I'm just going to leave him there. He seems happy and content bouncing around the place. I'm trying to think of 
way I can actually get the seal off without screwing up. I need a power up. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give there we go. Ooh, there. All is good. Lightfish remains alive to fight another day for his glorious cause of stealing everything. You know, as far as I'm concerned, this is some kind of metaphor for the military industrial complex. Oh, yeah, it's a reef. I can't connect to that. Never mind. Bad lightfish. Terrible lightfish. It's all your fault. There we go. Much better. Now, how the hell. This reef is making things a little tricky, to say the least. Alright, can I get this entire area? Oh, oh damn it. I'm too slow. Whitefish is being slaughtered. This is terrible. We must do better. Alright. There we go. That's kind of better. No, this was a bad idea. How do I... Can I even seal this guy off? Ah! Come on, I was so close! Why don't you let me do this? Alright, I think we start from this side. That's not a good way to start off. There we go, that's one taken out. That should make things somewhat easier. Go, Lightfish! There we go. Yoink! There, you see, this is going much better than last time. Alright. Come on. Forty-five levels of this. I'm not sure I could cope. I think I could probably play it every once in a while. It is interesting to see old-style games that I played when I was much younger reimagined. That said, I never really played Sticks for a long period of time either. I just thought I played it every now and again. It wasn't on the list of games that I really, really enjoyed. What I used to play a lot of on the BBC Micro. Hmm. Death Star, which was actually a rip-off of Xevious, if I recall correctly. The BBC Micro had a lot of games that you would recognize, but it didn't have the same name for them. They were kind of like knockoffs. But then again, that was kind of the way that games used to work back then. An idea would just be stolen. It's kind of the same way that games now work on the Android and App Store. Eh? You take an idea, you rename it, you reskin it, and then you just sell it. And that's how things used to work. So yeah, I played a lot of Death Star. I played a lot of Strikers Run. That was actually original. That was really good. That was a... God damn it. That was a third-person scrolling shooter. It had amazing graphics for the time. This was also back in the day when graphics options didn't really exist, with the exception of there being two versions on the disc or tape. Either you played on the BBC Model B version, which took 32k of RAM, or you played on the BBC Master version, which took 128k, and that had enhanced graphics. Parallax scrolling and nonsense. Like, I don't think... Did it even have parallax scrolling? Wow. I can't even remember. Parallax scrolling was pretty hardcore back in the day, folks. I'll have that. But yeah, and usually they were on either side of the tape, so... Like, well, if I have a BBC Master, if I upgrade to an amazing BBC Master, I can play the high-resolution version of this game, which would have 16 colours. 16 colours was pretty hardcore back then. Alright. So these guys are sort of trapped here, and they're not going anywhere. That's... That's good, we can deal with them later. Alright. Let's get ready to start the run. All your territory belongs to Lightfish. There we go. Let's slice off this here. Hmm. And then it becomes trickier. If he bounces in there again, I'm... Actually, I can't really seal him off, can I? Because there's a reef in the way. God damn it! And who is in favour of conserving these reefs, really? I think I've made this very difficult for myself. <laughs> Sorry, I can grab that. There we go. Oh, you can seal it off like that. Well, that makes things easier. All right, well, I can just win this right now, then. There we go. I fail horribly. Hmm, a new enemy. The Lightfish must take on for victory. I like to think that all of these guys are just innocent dwellers of the sea, and Lightfish is an aggressive predator, slowly starving them off of all their territory. 
Lightfish is in fact the bad guy. That would be a bit of a twist, wouldn't it? These guys also bounce off at random angles. Additional Lightfish have been added to the collective. Quickly, there we go. How did that only get me two stars? That was pretty damn fast. Yeah, apparently not fast enough. La di da, we are the Lightfish experts. This is what you should be doing. Your par should be eight seconds. There we go. It's all mine. Quick seal off right there. Hmm, I think that would be a great name for a game, come to think of it. Seal off. If that hasn't already happened, it's a good play on words. It's basically a fighting game involving various seals. And the seals will battle for supremacy in a world fighting tournament. And they call it Seal Off. There could be like various martial arts styles for the seals. Like there could be an MMA seal. He's all sort of bro seal. He's got tattoos and things like that. And then you've got the ancient martial arts style of seal. Trains in this little Eskimo dojo. I just think it's a great idea for a game. I don't know why anyone hasn't picked it up yet. Seriously. I can't imagine. Seal off, folks. Make it. Anyone that's a skilled flash coder, create me this game. I will promote the hell out of it. Alright. Get over here. This level is tricky. There are too many bouncing things. Get over there! God. He's just... Ah! A reef. Always with the damn reef. You know what? If pollution wants to destroy these reefs, I'm okay with that. Bollocks. This level is suddenly getting hard. There's 45 levels of this. I think I'm only on level 5. And I'm all, or is it 6 or 7 or whatever the case. I'm just getting my ass kicked. I'm fairly sure I used to have more gaming skills when I was 6 years old playing these kind of games than I have now. I have a feeling that modern games have spoiled me. Well, that and a lack of practice. Ooh. Do want that power-up. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. That should make things a little simpler. All mine. There we go. I shall see, I'm destroying the reefs right here. Ha ha, conservationists, you can't stop me. Oh my god, that power-up doesn't last for long, does it? Alright. I'd so like to be able to seal that guy off in there. It wasn't looking all that likely. Uh, it's too risky. What can I say? I'm a bit of a coward. Alright. Get out of the way. There we go. All is fine. I'll just grab that. Ah! Box. Come on, Lightfish. Continue your glorious domination for the Lightfish Empire. There's no way I'm sealing that off. That's not happening. Unless... I have to make it just a little bit easier to do. Hmm. It is a trap. Let's see which of these idiot starfish decide to enter. Ha ha! I activate my trap card. Hmm. Alright. Things are still not going all that well in the land of lightfish. I have to say. I have a nice score modifier here. I need four more percent of the level. Mine, 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 mine. There we go. Lightfish has marked his territory successfully. Lightfish was only given one gold star. Lightfish is sad now and will become a juvenile delinquent due to a lack of good teaching practices. All right. Oh, bollocks. Well, that's a great start, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I shall have this very small piece of land carved out for me. Uh, all right. Can I seal off this entire area? Probably not. I'm gonna try anyway. Yes. There we go. Maybe grab that reef. Doink. There we go. Looking good. I'm not confident I can make that run. The stars at least bounce in a predictable pattern. That freaking... I don't even know what that is. Oh, come on! Give me a break. Just, just one break. That's all is required. Now, you get out of here. I want this area. It will be mine. This is prime territory. There you go. See? That's what you get. Not on any of that nonsense. Thank you very much. I'll have the modifier as well. Very tasty. 
Lightfish claims it for his own. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There we go. I think we'll be moving on to the next game shortly. Just after I've beaten this level. And I will of course tell you where you can get Lightfish. And how much Lightfish costs. If you so desire to purchase Lightfish. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing to do here. So let's grab that. There we go. Wondrous. What can I say? I suck at Lightfish. There's also a time trial, as you can see right there. That is the options menu. There is a higher difficulty level if you wish to take it. I personally would not wish to take it. Lightfish. Currently available from Eclipse Games. It's on Steam. It's £3.99. I believe it's around $5 or about €4 Euros or so. And that would be the first game in our WTF-a-thon, ladies and gentlemen. One of hopefully many. My name is Total Biscuit. You are watching the live WTF-a-thon. If you are watching the archives over on YouTube and you missed it, no matter. Plenty more games to come. I'm going to go and set up the next game, and I'll be right back as quickly as I can.